Last time we talked about footwork around the bag. In this video, we'll talk about picking balls in the dirt. Now, the most difficult ball to pick is that ball right at the first baseman. We call that the deer in the headlights ball. Okay, so the first baseman strides to the ball and the ball's right at his front foot. Okay, he, his glove, his knee is in the way of his glove, in the way of his foot. So we teach our first baseman to either step six inches as a lefty to the outside and make that a backhand pick and pick that ball or step six inches to the inside and make it a forehand pick, okay? Very, my preference is that a first baseman, first base is primarily a backhand position. So I prefer my first baseman as a lefty to step six inches to the outside of the ball, clear a lane for his glove and get his eyeballs down there on plane with that ball. My eyes are right down there. I can see that ball going into my glove. I have a better chance of picking that ball versus going this way on a forehand when my eyes are way up here. I can't really see that ball. Okay, equally important to that is that when you get to your backhand position, now you have your whole arm here as a shield just in case that ball does hit off that lip and kick up towards your face. Now you have your, boom, shoulder, elbow, forearm, wrist, and if you're lucky enough, you might actually even pick that ball versus you're in your forehand position, that ball hits that lip, you have, you're stuck. You're not in a very athletic position, that ball's probably gonna hit you in the face, which causes especially young first basemen to start to cheat a little bit that way, and what happens? The ball beats them underneath their glove. That covers picking balls in the dirt, one of the most important skills of a good first baseman. In the next video, we'll work on daily progression drills.